uh, Kim Dameron, Eastern Illinois University. Thanks. And can you tell us how year one at EIU went last year? Um, excuse me, I'm here. Can you tell us how year one at EIU Oh, year one. Yes. Yeah, um, well, not, uh, not exactly what I had hoped. Um, we, uh, we had a tough schedule early. Started off at Minnesota. Uh, had Southern Illinois nationally ranked coming in, uh, Illinois State. You know, I mean, it was a it was a pretty good gauntlet early, and um, then once we got in, we we kind of hit our stride and got in the conference, and uh, did some good things in the conference. And then towards the end, I think our injuries hurt us a little bit, and uh, but uh, it, so it wasn't near what uh, we had hoped that it would be. But uh, we felt like that uh, we put some good building blocks in place, and we got our systems uh, put in, and. Um, uh, continued to recruit, and so you know we feel like uh, that uh, it, it was a positive, even though as far as our record was concerned, we weren't as happy as we'd like to be. Sure. What do you like most about your team this year? I really like how close they are. They're they're a great group of kids, and um, you know they um, they they are really tight as an entire team. It's not like a team that's real cliquish or anything where you have uh, certain guys over here or certain guys over there. They're really a a tight-knit group and uh, they've showed that uh, through the spring and then through the summer and uh, we've, we've got some really good leaders um, uh, in, in some of our veteran players and um, but that to me is the number one uh, thing I like the most about this team is how close they are. What's the biggest challenge you're going to face? Well I think like anything staying healthy uh, you know making sure that um, <clears throat> you know that we come out of our non-conference season uh, with some positive notes and on a roll and going into the conference. And then again, you know, health issues at, at our level are always big because uh, you can lose a critical player and all of a sudden it, it, uh, you're not quite the team you were. And so we've got to stay healthy and, um, and continue to improve each week. And, you know, and, and I think the biggest thing too is we've got to just make sure that we uh, are focused on the process every day and just try to go out and get better every day and not look down the you know, you know where we're picked or who's ahead or anything like that. We just need to, to, to get better every day. Now, what are your general impressions about the OVC race and what it might take to compete for a championship? Well, I, you know, you, you can, in, in this conference, you can, um, you can get beat or you can win every Saturday. It, it is um, a very competitive conference from top to bottom. It showed that last year uh, where, you know, we had uh, some games that, you know, did get out of hand and we won uh, fairly well. But... Uh, for the most part, every Saturday you better show up and you better have your A game ready to go because uh, anybody can jump up and beat any other team in this league. Uh, I do think that, you know, obviously the way Jacksonville State uh, and Eastern Kentucky finished last year, uh, you know, obviously they're, they're picked, uh, you know, to, to uh, be at the top of the league. And, and they are. They're good programs and, and they are formidable opponents. But, uh, you know, we feel like that um, – uh, you know, we can compete with every team on, on our schedule, uh, but there is no, there's not a team on our schedule that can't beat us if we don't show up. Thanks. And is there anything else you can tell us about your schedule this year, what it looks like and how it's shaping up? Yeah, you know, we start off non-conference. Uh, we have two Missouri Valley schools, uh, Western Illinois. Uh, then we go to Northwestern and play up there in Chicago. That's a big thing for some of our alumni and to be able to go to Chicago and, and play a Northwestern team that's, you know, that close to us. Uh, and then, of course, we have the Illinois State rivalry, which is always a big rivalry for us. And here they are, you know, they're going to be probably top five, top three in the country, um, you know, preseason. So uh, the good thing is we have them uh, at our place. That'll be our first home game. I think the way the schedule uh, uh, sets up in the conference, you know, last year we had to take our three longest trips uh, in one year. This year, as far as our travel schedule, it's, it's, it's quite a bit better easier as far as the, the how far we got to go um, and the fact that we do have uh, Jacksonville State and Eastern Kentucky late in the year coming into Charleston so you know we feel good about that hopefully we're in the position at the end of the year to where that really matters and uh, so that's our goal and, and and the way I look at the schedule is you know obviously our, our three non-conference games are big um, and but but you know our goal every year is to win the OVC and so when we get into the OVC uh, conference race you know, it's, it's one at a time. It's, it's um, try to do the best you can do every week and hopefully put yourself in a position where we have uh, some of the top teams in the conference coming into our place late and hopefully that gives us an advantage.